Hey guys, welcome to the Wave Shooter tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to be making it so enemies will spawn outside of here. This is our viewport, this entire box, and this is what the player can see. The enemies are going to be spawning outside from what the player can see, and this will make sure that an enemy doesn't spawn on top of a player and that the player doesn't see them while they are spawning. So to do this, we are going to be using our base node, the arena, to instance the enemies. It's going to be using a timer. So let's instance our timer, add a child node, timer. We're going to call this enemy spawn timer. I'm going to go inspector, we're going to set wait time to 0.25, and we're going to set so it automatically starts. Go to node, we're going to set the timeout, and we're going to connect that to arena. So now this is the signal that whenever the timer goes off, it shoots at the arena. And so now the arena knows that when this goes off, we want to create an enemy. So we're gonna get a variable of our enemy. We're gonna call this enemy one because we might have more enemies later on. I'm gonna set the preload and we're gonna preload our TSCN file, which is our scene file. So what preload does is it basically, when the script is compiled, it will automatically load this into the game so it's ready when we need it. So in the spawn timer, we are going to be creating the nodes outside of the scene. So if you're new to programming, this might be a little complicated, but I'm going to try to do my best to explain this. We're going to do variable enemy position equals vector two, random range, negative 160, 670, random range, random range, negative 90 to 390. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit of how I got these values. When we go to the 2D view, this is our entire viewport. This is 0, 0, and this goes all the way to 320, and this goes all the way to 180. When we want to create enemies outside of it, we want to go backwards a little bit, which will take us to like negative 30, or what value did I use? Negative 160. I went pretty far back, where enemies can spawn all the way back here, all the way to... 670 where it's going past that 320 mark then we're doing the same thing for the y value we're going past it and above it so we're basically bigger square over this square viewport and where the enemies can spawn but the problem with this right now is enemies can still spawn in between all of these values so they're still going to spawn in here to do this we're going to use something called a while loop if you're new to programming I'll explain what it is in a second. While enemy position dot x is greater than 640 and enemy position position dot x is less than, I mean greater than negative 80. Last one was not less than. Or enemy position dot y is great is less than 360 and enemy position dot y is greater than negative 45. So this makes a while loop and it checks if we're less than 640, which is our, which is like about over here. And it's not perfect. It's not, uh, the values aren't set perfectly, but they're good enough where you don't have enemy spawn inside of our viewport. And it's greater than negative 180. So that means it's greater over here than it, this while loop will happen and what this happens is basically it checks for the values that are inside of this viewport right here if any of the values are inside of it when we set up our random values because that's what random range does it picks a value in between this and this if they are in that square box where the player can see we're gonna reset our random function we're going to do it again. We're going to see, and it's going to keep going in this loop and keep going until we have values that are outside of the viewport where the player will not see the enemies. And so if you have a different size screen, you're going to have to experiment a bit with these values. Just find values that are off the screen and you can just go in the viewport in the 2D view and you can try to visualize what values you're going to need. So that's what that while loop does. It will keep going through until those values are different. So, okay, so now it basically gets the viewport and it makes sure that our enemy position is not inside of that viewport with this while loop. 
and it will keep setting this random range if this is true and it will not go into this code below until this is not true so that's why it's gonna get our enemy position and make sure it's gonna be outside hopefully i explained that enough so you guys can have an understanding on how it works if you need additional help you can ask in the discord i'll have a discord link in the description now we're going to be making it so that the enemies will spawn so we're going to use our global instance system instance node and we're going to just do enemy one because we're getting this variable up here which we preloaded and then we want to do enemy position remember this is the position where we're wanting to create so this is the node we're creating enemy one at the enemy position and the parent we're just going to set as ourself because there's no reason to say global dot node creation parent because it is ourself we might as well just say self and do that so now when we run the game hit the play button you see enemies they're spawning outside the view and there's a lot of enemies holy cow we're probably going to set this timer a little bit a lot less let's just do every second and we're going to be setting a, a difficulty curve so that timer goes down a little bit and it will have a limit so the enemies won't spawn like crazy but it will get harder the longer you play but now we have enemies spawning into the scene and you can fight them and they die so we basically have the base of the game done we have everything that's gonna be mechanically in the game so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, i enjoy making them and I'll see you guys in the next one.